Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Hunt the Math Lady. I'm here to play a math game with my friend Jason. We are playing Bump, which you might already know, but we're playing it in a new way with two strategy boards, one for each of us. If you have three players, they would just have a strategy board too. We're also playing with the deck -a deck which I have in this handy container. I'm gonna put it right up there. You can always print your own deck -a decks or find them at deckadeck.com. Let's see, this is an add 10 bump. I start by drawing two cards, the top two cards off the deck. I turn them over and I have to add 10 to each of them. 10 plus eight is 18. 10 plus zero is 10. I can put my pizza on either. I think I'll choose 18. All right, what about you, Jason? Um, choose the top two cards off the deck. Mm. Nice. All right, add 10 to each of those. 10 plus 10 equals 20. And wait, but what's the other one? You have another choice here. Uh, 10 plus 2 equals 12. Okay, do you want um, yours on 20 I'm going or to 12? Do 20. 20. Okay, we'll put it off to the side so everyone can see. Now it's my turn again. I have 10 plus 6 or 10 plus 8. 10 plus 6 is 16. 10 plus 8 is 18. Now, if I chose 18, I would put a second pizza on there. But then Jason might end up bumping me. I think I'll go with the safe way. 10 plus 6 is 16. Your turn, Jason. What are your options? 10 plus 10 equals 20, but I also have 10 plus 8 equals 18. Hey, students, which one do you think Jason's going to choose? Do you think he's going to choose to put another pickle on 20 or choose to bump off my pizza? I have a prediction. I think I'm going to bump off. I figured. I figured that's what you would do. And now Jason has one point. He only needs nine more points to win the game. Nice. Let's see what happens though, because anything can happen in bump. All right, I have a one and a three. 10 plus one is 11. 10 plus three is 13. It's kind of the same either way. I think I'll choose 13. I like that number. Jason? Always the top two cards. Thank you. you get? I got a uh, 10 plus 10 equals 20 and a 10 plus 8 equals 18. Mm -hmm. Which one? Oh, either way you're going to add a pickle to what you have. Interesting. I think I'll put it on 20. Okay, so he's making the bet that uh, that's the way he's going to go. Let's see what I get. 10 plus 10 is 20. 10 plus 6 is 16. Students, should I stack two pizzas on 16 or bump? Yep, I'm going to bump and I bump both of his pickles. Now I have two pickles and he has one pizza so far on the head, but it could be anyone's game. All right, we have fast forwarded a little bit in our game. It's your turn, Jason. Okay. There you go. Draw some cards. Let's see, as you can see, students, the board is really full now. Phew, it's a seven. You see, he's only three points away and I'm four points away. It's anybody's game at this point. <gasps> students, do you see what just happened? Okay, what are your options? You have to say them both. I see 10 plus seven equals 17, but okay. I also have 10 plus nine equals 19. Oh, what's he gonna pick? Oh, do 19. Oh, bump. He bumps off my three pizzas. And with that, he gets 10 points and wins the game. Good game. Thanks, Jason, for playing. Have fun, students. You're welcome.